drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Curry! What point did you feel you were good to go in, in terms of playing tonight? Was it before one or during one or after? Uh, since we didn't have a shooter out today, I didn't really know how I was going to react once I got moving. Um, doing basketball, some little activity. So I was pretty confident from the time I woke up that I'd be able to go just that optimism, but don't really know until you get out on the court and test it out. And, and uh, it was all good to go. In the last half minute of the first half, you had a couple of interesting plays. I mean, a bounce pass between the legs of Jamal. I don't know how, many, how often you do that between an opponent's legs for a dunk. And then on the, before the shot, I don't know if a lot of people realized, it looked like you out jumped Andre for that, for that, or DeAndre for that rebound before you're taking that half court shot. It's an illusion. My timing was impeccable in that situation, but uh, nah, the the pass to Andre was kind of just you know bang bang. The only way I could get it to him without trying to lob it up over the rim to the other side. So. Um, Probably from coaches' eyes, one of those no, 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 good pass situations. Um, and yeah, just and that's it. When down the stretch of the quarter, we can get a stop and secure a rebound. And I love throwing up those, you know, however far, you know, shots at the end of the, you know, at, at the buzzer, just to give it a chance to see if it will go in. Um, and thankfully tonight it did. Steph Kerr was mentioned it may be the first part of the season. You were very conscious of, of getting the ball to Kevin, make sure Kevin got his shots. <clears throat> Maybe the last month or so, it's been conscious almost on your point that you, you can go get your shot just like you've always got. You didn't have to worry about Durant. Durant was going to be okay with that. He'll get his shots too. Has that been a conscious thought to you? And has that kind of opened up what we're seeing maybe the last couple weeks with, with your shooting, with your scoring? No, for sure. I got I to gotta be aggressive. And that's thing about us we do have a lot of talent there's a balance and act to it but you know for me to initiate our offense I and mean, you know, with pick and rolls or whatever set I got to be aggressive to to look to score to look to draw attention and good things will happen out of that knowing that we have so many other playmakers on the floor and, and the, the rest will happen as well so we continue to work on that balance as we you know played pretty much since the Christmas Day game and you know, like the flow that we have, um, especially when we're playing defense at, with, at this level and turning that into easy offense um, along the way and, and executing in the half court as well. Steph, when you, when you hit a shot like that at the end of the first half, does that carry an effect for you in the third quarter? Does that give you more confidence going into the third quarter? We always, I've said this a couple of times, uh, my coach at Davis and Bob McKillop always talked about Big Mo going into the half. If you can get a stop or get a you know a buzzer beater or, or a bucket down the stretch of the other, um, you know, that, of the quarter, it usually has a carryover effect um, for the team. You know, me personally, you see a shot like that go in. Obviously, you're thinking about it during halftime and come out. And I made my first shot out of in the third quarter, and that just continued. You know, the, the trend. So. Um, big Mo going into half, and we we were able to keep that energy as a as a group and have an amazing third quarter. Steph, it's Chance Lee your night. You know, you had the first <laughs> look shot. What did you find in the game? Say that again. What did you find in the game? It's Chance Lee your night, and then you had the first look shot. Yeah. Um, it was a fun game, and uh, the jerseys were amazing, and the energy in the arena was was awesome. <laughs> And uh, I had some pretty cool shoes on, so it was great. Great year, the rooster. Happy New Year to everybody. Shane Yi right? Is that right? Yeah. Gotcha. <coughs> exactly. Steph, I know you don't concentrate too much on other teams, but given what LeBron's talked about and Cleveland's having some struggles now, and you, you hear maybe the Clippers talking about making a big move, a lot of that is perceived to be them looking at you guys. Uh, do you think you, you are – Sending messages to these teams, you think there's a little bit of they got to react to what you're doing right now? Doesn't matter, man. I mean, we had our um, ups, we had our ups and downs. Um, we've obviously turned it on the last you know two or three weeks. Clear focus just on us, and we obviously know the chatter that's going around the league and whatnot. But for us to have the 
maturity to not worry about that and just worry about how we're playing. Um, and whoever's, you know, on the other side of the court come game time every single night, that's all that we can control. And I'm looking forward to the playoffs uh, being at our best. So, you know, however teams want to get there, whoever we got to face, we'll be ready. Speaking of big moments, we got Mo Buckets uh, off the dribble right when he came in the game in the first quarter. I, mean, I was wondering how you were feeling about that uh, afterwards. No, I felt that uh, he's a uh, – I saw him come in. It's a good pick and roll situation. Try to get him get him activated uh, right away and uh, try to make a play. So uh, can't take it easy on him even though we, we love Mo Buckets. Great, thank you. We will have uh, either Clay or Draymond.